well, here I am. I'm about done hauling corn, and over the weekend, I came across the. I learned of a Alice HD5, uh, and it, the best part is, it's less than 10 minutes from home. Uh, the guy I bought it from it was his father's, and he says it's at least 35 years since it's run. Uh, and I grabbed the filament blade and the motor would turn, so we made a deal and I'm going to attempt to get it started. Uh, I hope the sound is okay because of the wind noise and stuff today. So I'm going to start out with uh, seeing if I can find the oil galley to pressurize the bearings with fresh oil so that they are no chance of being dry when I turn it. And uh, I've never worked on it. It's got a 271 Jimmy in it. And uh, I've never worked on one, but I've learned enough watching videos that I got to pull a valve cover off and check the rack and make sure I have a way to shut it off. Emergency shut off works. So let's see how things go. I'm starting out with taking the hood off. I got these pipes that were clamped in there. I got the hood straps loose on the other side already. Now I have to get the exhaust pipe off. That's how I figured that'd come. Got the air cleaner off. Well now we should be able to lift the hood off. I have to do a little cleaning around the valve cover before I take it off.
Well, I don't have any compressed air here, so I turn the regulator up. I'll lose a little oxygen to blow some of that dirt out of there. We got the valve cover loose, now we'll blow any dirt loose back. That's so I'm going to pull the valve cover off, see what it looks like. Definitely looks nice under the valve cover. Nice and oily and clean as a whistle. The rack was a little sticky when I first touched it. But you see, it loosened right up. See, it's two valve engine. We're gonna check to see if the valves, make sure none of the valves are stuck. Now, the exhaust valves, which is the only valves on the, on the two-stroke diesel, those were loose, but the injectors, uh, when I pried those down, uh, they seemed to stick down, but when, and then I got a little pry in here, pull them back up, and after a couple times up and down, they freed up nicely. So next, I'm gonna try and get oil pressure to the oil galley, to the bearings, so it doesn't start I want to have fresh oil supplying the bearings before I crank it. So I have to find uh, where the oil pressure gauge comes off this motor. Well, I disconnected the line from the oil pressure gauge and I put it into my oil pump here in the bucket so I can uh, pressurize the oil system. And I didn't didn't think of a fitting, hook the hose up there. But I pulled this little fitting off, uh, I believe that was some kind of a primer, ether primer or something originally. But I got this little fitting that I should be able to screw in there. And I, even though it's six sided, I should be able to clamp that hose onto it to a uh, pressurized oil system. So we're going to get along with that. pressure because when I crank it and feel the hose it expands so we're getting more pressure to the bearing so we got oil to the bearings next on uh, make sure the throttle and shutoff mechanisms are free let's see that a wind noise might be is probably really bad now but the throttle is free uh, emergency shutoff is working. I primed the oil system, pressurized it, and I made sure the valves and injectors were free. So now comes time to hook up the battery and see if it'll crank. I originally would have two six volts wired in series to make 12. I just put in one 12 volt battery. And now we're gonna hit the starter, see if it See if the engine cranks over. Let's put the pedal starter down here. Let's see. And it cranks over. It obviously needed persuasion before all those 35 years ago to start because here's a couple of empty cans which I'm sure were ether. So we'll give a little shot of that and see what happens. series to make 12 I just put in one 12 volt battery and now we're gonna hit the starter see if it 
see if the engine cranks over. Let's put pedal starter down here. Let's see. And it cranks over. Uh, well, open it up and it obviously needed persuasion before all those 35 years ago to start because here's a couple empty cans which I'm sure were ether. So we'll give a little shot of that and see what happens. Try taking off the disconnecting air cleaner. I can just right into it. Oh, I just went. 